Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and maintenance. Today we're going to continue Reflections of a Weight Loss Warrior and talk about my divorce and how it affected my eating. Now before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, especially from the psychological point of view, from someone who actually knows what it's like to be overweight and get through it, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also check out my website, my podcast, The Awakened Man, my books, and if you appreciate my content, there is a link for PayPal. All right, so now we're in around 2015. If you notice, I changed the thumbnail picture because now I don't have hair. And really starting, I mean, I'll put a picture of of 2001. This is a picture for me in Florence in 2001. You can already see my hair is already receding. But certainly by 2010, 2011, I was looking at some pictures and like, man, I should have done what Prince William has not done and shave his head. So around 2013, 2014, I was still getting haircuts at Supercuts. And, and looking back, it's like, what were they cutting? So I was losing hair. I don't know if I was because of stress because of the demise of my marriage or just it runs in my family. I don't know what it is. My, bro- my brother, who I talk about in the confession series, has not lost his hair. But I think he might have maybe had used some hair uh, medications, which I have not used. So I was losing my hair. So around 2014, 2015, uh, I'm just going to keep it vague because it's personal stuff here. I, I went through a separation and divorce. And clearly, this is one of the biggest stressors that somebody can go through in their life. I talked about how there were three weight gain periods in my life in the reflection series. I think episode four, and then there was a recent episode where I talked about the second one after my father's loss. I didn't necessarily gain weight during the divorce time. I actually lost weight during that time, maybe because I was stressed out. Uh, But it was a stressful time. As any of you guys have ever gone through a divorce, it's a stressful time. You're dealing with a lot of things. Um, Nobody marries planning to divorce unless you're a gold digger type. And I really wanted the marriage to work. And I didn't really know how to deal with it at the time because I'm a Catholic and we don't have divorce in the Catholic Church. We have an annulment, but annulments are different. It's very much stating that the, that, that the, the marriage never happened in the first place due to lack of consent or some other things. But it was it was very taxing on me and very stressful. I think the, the, the good thing that kind of helped me was that, like I mentioned in the previous episode, is that I had discovered fasting uh, right before this time. And I think that if I was emotionally eating, which no doubt I probably was, the fasting helped because instead of eating at five in the morning like I was for breakfast for the previous whatever 20 years of my life I didn't start eating till two o'clock and simply because I was doing more of a paleo-esque diet and not doing the typical standard American diet um, I think that helped quite a bit I was eating a lot of berries and nuts and dark chocolate things I still eat today and I think that helped offset the stress I didn't drink I never drink Uh, that's a good thing about my wife is that neither of us ever drank and I didn't do any drugs or anything like that but no doubt I was probably doing some emotional eating uh, at the time and I remember running at five in the morning uh, and it was a stressful and tough time and look I have children they were very young when the divorce happened and I still deal with sadness and guilt because I know the statistical indicators for children of divorce the higher rate of dropping out of school and incarceration and sexual promiscuity for the girls and higher rates of being physically and sexually abused and all these things so i do worry about my children but it has been seven years now and the the kids seem to be okay Um, but it's something that necessarily i didn't want but it's something that happened and so what do you got to do you got to make lemonade out of lemons god has a plan for us and I'm thinking she's likely happier now, and um, I'm happy. I'm not. I don't know if necessarily happier, but it's one of those things where, where you know, you make a promise for marriage to work, and it's hard. And I still deal with a lot of guilt about how it didn't work out, but it is what it is. And so I think a couple of things aligned, and there was a pivot point around this time, around 2015, because. I discover paleo and fasting and clean eating and I have the divorce and this is around the time where I stop doing the calorie in calorie out I slowly start morphing out of the disordered eating and so the next couple of reflections are going to be about 
kind of like how I got to where I am today seven years later. And sometimes like a forest that's got to burn down completely because of all the old growth and then there's regrowth or kind of like the phoenix or all the hackneyed things that the tropes that we use um sometimes bad things got to happen and good things come out of it i don't know but either way uh i just wanted to do an episode on this and so since 2015 by the way i do shave my hair every other day and up until about a year ago i actually was clean shaven so i look like mr clean <laughs> most of the time but i've had the beard now for probably over a year guys post in the comments let me know if you can relate to how a divorce affected your eating or drinking uh, hit the notification subscribe and share button until next time take care god bless and pray